Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mech Warriors, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mech Warrior Online. Today we're running the Keeper Assault Mech, but before we get into that, first things first, guys! It's finally here! Aggression wins! The shirt, the yes. mug, the bag, whatever you wanna Welcome make out of it, just head down in the video description to Sweatshirt and get your piece of Aggression wins. And by the way guys... Always make sure to bring that intensity. Uh, it's the stuff of nightmares, alright? That's me wearing my own shirt and I am so freaking happy that I can finally do that. It took long enough to uh, get here, but... Um, just have a look at that and see if that's something for you. Uh, all the proceeds from the shirts and the stuff will go into purchasing a new PC and uh, getting you guys some more content as well as getting more regular live streams going. So, enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. So, as I said, we're running the Keeper that is the Highlander 2C Hero Mech and we're running it here on this hot, hot map with dual Gauss Rifles and SRM-6 with Artemis. The Gauss Rifles to have a low heat weapon that can shoot up to 700 meters and more and the SM6 is for brawling and of course with us is the one the only Baradul in the match with me two Germans two assault mechs what could go wrong <laughs> all right let's keep on pushing forward now the enemy is in echo 6 echo 5 down below I think yeah some guys over there let's see what happens okay Okay, I'm coming, TTB. I hope you're right. I just hope you're right. Well, of course I'm right. You guys know me. When I'm I ever wrong? And the answer is more often than you might think. Oh, Aki Cheetah coming up. Let's give him a nice Gauss hit. Oh, that was nice. Now, he's a little bit out of range for the SM6s, but that's fine. That Gauss hit together with our teammate, the Even Jack, really, really opened him up. He is CT open. He is CT dead. Boom, there we go. Catching. Nice, nice hit now. Let's go ahead and have a look at what is happening over on Baradul's side. I think there's a light mech coming in. Whoa! Let's look for mech out. Got nice him. kill. Really, really good pushing tracking down. on the lasers and then finishing it up with the auto cannons. Okay, pushing in the enemy is below Delta 5. I'm just coordinating with Baradul right now and we're pushing in from two sides. Enemy lighter coming up. Yeah, large lasers and medium pulses. Oh, Julia, you're running so hot. There's That's no chance. Uh, by the way, guys, if you remember the last game that Bradley and I had on this channel, <laughs> I'm getting shot at. Bradley is killing UAVs. It is all German craziness all over again. And Lieto is pushing in right now, and he's pushing in solo against our full team. This is not a good thing to do, guys, and he's just gonna get taken out like nothing else. He's a stick now, and one more shot should actually. Yep, there we go. Teammates take Jump him down. Total. Switching over to Hotel, that is a Roughneck, again, just trying to shoot on his side torso, opening him up, and then getting the arm gone, getting the shoulder gone, and we'll just get another shot in, boom, there we go, okay, well, too slow, that's fine. Enemy Thunderbolt coming up, I see that Baradul is coming up on my right side, he's going after him, so let's go in and amplify his damage on Bravo. Let's go in with the Gauss Rifle, take out his side torso, and then, whoops, uh... Sorry, Bardo, I think I hit you in the back here. That was uh, not intended, but that's fine. It happens sometimes, especially if you have weird hard points like the Keeper. You've got the SRM6 in the yeah. side torso, but also in the arm. Okay, wow, my shots are just on point today. That's nice. Ooh, there's a private target coming up. That is an enemy, Madcat, yeah, Matu. Bardo laying into it. Bardo laying into my back in a um, That's the, That's the thing, guys, that I always say. Make sure you don't cross... Oh, hang on. Let's take this guy out. There we go. Make sure you don't cross in front of assault mechs. They might be zoomed in and they might not see you before they shoot and that might actually hurt. So, uh, try to not cross in front of assaults or warn them beforehand. And by warn them beforehand, I mean like warn them a few seconds before. Let's go on the annihilator. Boom! Team kill! Murder! Bloody mayhem! I unfortunately killed an Irby. The gravest of all sins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little Irby. Okay. TTB confirmed. TTB confirmed dirty team killer. killer. There we go. Ah, sad face, sad face. That was not intended, but uh, he, he literally jumped <laughs> jetted into his killer. doom. <laughs> sorry, buddy. So Bardo He's says he found okay. a guy in Echo 4. Let's go know, in and have a look him. at his view. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. That's okay. There he is. Hop in. Right. German team play. play. Yep, yeah, that was nice. Viele Grüße nach Deutschland. GG, well played. Ja, Grüße zurück. Ah, well. 
That was beautiful. I just always love it playing with Bradle. He's such a good player and such a nice guy. Free killing blows, 6 assists, 2 solo kills, 4 KMDDs, 9 components destroyed, 1009 damage done. Both of us together, over 2100 damage and half the enemy team taken out and uh, Alpha Lens alone took out two thirds of the enemy team. Very, very nice indeed. Good game, good team play, and it just shows you what you can do if you're playing with you guys that know what they're doing, that like to play as a team, that like to communicate, and that are willing to put themselves into harm's way a little bit for their teammates. So, hope you guys enjoyed that match. Very, very nice round. Thanks, Bardo, again. So, let's go ahead and move into the next match. This one is a little bit different. This is actually one where I get quite into a little bit of a predicament and uh, pay the price for it, but uh, we'll get to that later. For now, we're here on the Grimplexes and we're moving into the capture zone. As you can see from the capture zone, this is a video recorded before the patch went live, but that should be fine. Can we actually take down the UAV? Yep, it's gone. Perfect. Now, if you look down at the map, you can see that uh, one of the leading mechs down here, which is me, is an assault mech. The other teammates are one to two fields back, unfortunately. And um, I'm just trying to push into Fox 7 as fast as possible. This is one of the key areas to control on this map. It has nice cover and it allows you to attack from so many angles. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just finding targets of opportunity. I'm standing down here, which is not a good spot to stand in, but I need to get my eyes on something and just shoot it. For example, maybe that Centurion right now. Uh, I think I hit him. Yep, we did. His side torso is open. And then once more into the back. That should do it. Perfect. Here we go. Let's keep on going. Osiris coming up. Are you going to go into my trap? Nope, he doesn't like to go into my trap. That's fine. We'll just find a different target. Like, woo! Yeah, sorry, buddy. That's exactly what I meant. Do not walk in front of assault mechs, guys, especially if they're about to engage. Um, if they hit you, it is basically your fault because they might just not see you. And there's nothing you can do against that. So, we've got a Kodiak coming for me. He is really coming for me. Let's go ahead and go through straight to his CT. He is down. Annihilator coming for me. Quad LB10 setup. I need to get into cover right now. I cannot tank this guy. So, let's just go after some different target. For example, that Battlemaster over there. Taken down as well. Three killing blows so moving. far. Stop camping. Asking the teammates to finally start moving like and really stop camping because we got four guys sitting in Fox 6 being useless, not sharing armor oh and God. not doing damage. And guys, that's just not helping. So please stick together as a team as much as possible. And I really whiffed that shot, unfortunately. But um, I'm quite up front right here. And I need to be careful. And I think this is where things starting to go wrong. I push in a little bit too aggressively. I want to go after the Annihilator and take him out. Didn't hit the Arctic Cheetah quite well, but I'm just gonna move in further. Need assistance, where are the teammates? There's the Annihilator. Boom, we take him out as well, four killing blows so far. And now we walk into the whole enemy team, and then I turn around to face the Arctic Cheetah. Ouch. Ah, that's, that, that hurt. That hurt like hell. My arm is gone, my side torso is gone. I am just getting demolished, and then I'm actually Sorry getting nothing, team killed. <laughs> Uh, no worries, better greater you. No worries. You see, here's the thing: a uh, player does something bad, and he immediately apologizes. It's all, it's all good. It happens. I mean, it happens to the rest of us. It happens to me as well sometimes. So, if it happens, just say you're sorry, and that's fine then. So, teammates are fighting against the enemy. It's seven kills over three. However, they still haven't managed to really push into the enemy lines. We've got a little bit of stuff down here with a jester. And then slowly but surely now they're starting to trickle in, but so far we're well done, five minutes into the match and they finally managed to move into Gulf 7. Everybody who actually came up front with me. <sighs> this is one of these matches that could have gone a lot better if the team just pushed as a group. So guys, as always, if you're in the salts, stick with the team. Four killing blows, three assists, one solo kill, two kill most damage dealt, 500 damage done, five components taken out. Yep. I would say I did my job quite handily, I also took a lot of damage and then I moved myself into a position where I could get taken out quite easily. So don't make the same mistake, don't play as aggressively, just moderate your aggression sometimes a little bit. XL Engine 325, two Gauss Rifles, four SRM6s and of course don't forget at least one jump jet so you actually have the ability to jump a little bit and uh, cushion your fall. And that is all you need to have, guys, in this Keeper. 78 firepower, great mech, makes a lot of fun. Go ahead, try it out and let me know how you like it. And by the way, guys, if you like the design that I've made, then go ahead, head on over to Spreadshirt and get it for yourselves while there is a 15% discount currently going on. Link in the video description below.
Thanks for watching. Blood for the blood god. <laughs>